Facilitating a Global Sustainability Cooperative. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 225. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 225, July 16th, 2017 edition. This week's topic, facilitating a global sustainability cooperative, which is pretty much one community's primary function, to facilitate a global sustainability cooperative. And how do we seek to do that? Well, through open source and free shared tools, tutor tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for everything that you see happening in the background here, which covers all aspects of sustainability. More specifically, we've broken sustainability into the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing. Pretty much everybody's familiar with those. And what we see is equally as important, the or possibly even more important, the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are highest good economics, highest good education, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. So we're putting these things together in open sourcing and free sharing them as a path to facilitating global sustainability cooperative by making them easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating the complete process of implementation and the end result as attractive enough so that the idea will spread its own. And the idea, the idea is Complete teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs purpose to teach others how to build sustainable teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs as well, or just to create a sustainable lifestyle for themselves. But the model itself thrives and prospers and does best when shared. Everything that we're designing is purpose to become self-replicating. We want the model to self-replicate. We want to be able to provide as broad a diversity of variations, iterations, and options for everything that, is that we're doing as possible. We want as much diversity as we can. We want as many evolutions and improvements as we can possibly provide. And so our goal is to make the first version easy enough, affordable enough, demonstrates attractive enough that at least one other organization would want to replicate it and would start the replication process within our first year of construction. And then our goal is for those two organizations to hopefully inspire two more, and for those four to inspire four more, and for those eight to inspire eight more, and 16, and so on and so forth. If we can accomplish that, that process of self-replication, and the first really only needs to be good enough to inspire one more, and then those two together can inspire two more. If we can do that, we will be facilitating Global Sustainability Cooperative because we will have created a self-replicating model and that has the potential to transform life on this planet and to create for the first time arguably in human history a world that truly works for everybody a sustainable planet capable of meeting the needs of all its inhabitants human and animal a world that truly works for everybody a sustainable planet that benefits everyone this is one community's idea of facilitating global sustainability cooperative and the open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions. For everything happening in the background here is our path to doing that. And then creating one community is a place that people can visit and experience everything that it is that we're designing and developing. So if they like what they see and you want to replicate it, we'll have everything necessary for you to do that. People will understand exactly how much it will cost and how much time it will take, not just to build the complete teacher demonstration hub that is one community, but how to also develop all the individual components so that it can be implemented as either the complete teacher demonstration hub or just as a food module or as a housing module or as an education module or as an economic module. Each piece designed so that it can be replicated, replicated as an individual component or as the complete model so that it's capable of what we call project launch blueprinting, a completely different model. 
open sourcing and free sharing the foundations in such a way that average people with average means can replicate that idea and using the whole open source model as a template in and of itself, meaning that the way that we are open sourcing everything is also open source, open sourcing the actual open source process so that everything that we're doing can be evolved that much more efficiently, so it can be shared that much more efficiently. And so like a Wikipedia of sustainability, but with all the do-it-yourself instructions, combining the concepts of like Wikipedia and WikiHow to address much, much bigger challenges than have ever been address, addressed before. And we're doing this because we see all of humanity's challenges as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. And so we've taken a comprehensive approach to addressing them all simultaneously. This is our idea for facilitating Global Sustainability Cooperative, is inviting everybody to participate in creating a teacher demonstration hub capable of and purposed for building additional teacher demonstration hubs, solution models specifically purposed to create additional solution creating models. This is what we're up to. We're a 100% volunteer organization, we're a non-governmental or non organization, we're a non-profit organization, and we're a 100% volunteer unpaid organization, and this is what we're creating, and you're invited to participate. So now, let's jump into one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of facilitating the Global Sustainability Cooperative. Here it is. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued working in SketchUp on the outside of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. We updated the railing on the second floor, added windows and doors, and started adding details to the outside area close to the art studio section. Recycled materials such as pallets, tires, and barrels will be used to design this area. The core team also updated again all the perspectives for the Treehouse Village Pod 7 external views, as shown here. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 19th week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower and vermiculture bathroom designs. This week's focus was updating the piping specifics for both freshwater and rainwater supplies to the spigots, toilets, and water fountains, as shown here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 77 of Dean's work. This week's focus was lighting and more object placement in the dining and presentation area, as shown here. And Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued helping with the Treehouse Village Pod 7 renders. This week, he finished removing unneeded polygons to optimize the structures for rendering the entire village and began work on updating all the village walkways. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued work on the DIY pipe furniture tutorial page. This week, we added 13 images to the pipe shelving diagram section with click to enlarge options and captions. We also added anchor links to the pipe shelving and pipe lighting sections and created the pipe lighting section outline. In addition, the team created a pipe shelving instructions collage and added it to the page with a click to enlarge option. The core team also completed the menus, formatting, addition of videos, and updates to all the pictures for the wind power tutorial. You can see some pictures of this work here and visit the website for the complete page. Working with Ashwin Patil, web developer, we also finished the first round of revision suggestions for version 2.0 of the Highest Good Energy search engine and updated all the search engines to be SSL security compliant. You can see some of this work here. Dipti Dondaker, electrical engineer, continued with her 41st week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was beginning the testing now for the placement of the 60 plus smaller lights within the social dome, as shown here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, 
and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team recalculated the space needed for all the bulk goods on the food self-sufficiency transition plan page to account for ceiling height and recreated and added the image and calculations to the page, as you can see here. We also put another five hours into the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week, we updated the images and files on the transition kitchen page and finished our research on the hexier construction materials, costs, and needs. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the Honesty and Integrity lesson plan and the Love and Connection lesson plan. This brings us to 36 of 52 finished, which is approximately 69% completion. We also continued the research and initial construction and formatting of the school licensing and accreditation tutorial. You can see some of this work here, and we'd say we're about 50% complete with this tutorial now. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team completed the open source and replicable annual social media strategy page and tutorial by adding the FAQ and integrating links to the page into the Highest Good Society open source hub. We also continued testing video approaches for sharing where all our collaborators and volunteers are from. What you see here is version 5.0 of this testing. Ashwin Patil, web developer, also finished version 1.0 of the Highest Good Economic Search Engine, which you can see here. Well, there you have it. This is how one community is facilitating a global sustainability cooperative through open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. Food, energy, housing, education, economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting those things together. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media. We're on all the different social media networks. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, Pinterest, and all about 15, 20 extra others to make it as easy as possible. So you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or any of our social media networks and manage your updates that way. Or you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list and send you an email, um, or you just keep watching. Whatever works best for you. Either way, thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the emails that we get, for the people that submit things that are great resources to add to the website. We really appreciate that as well. And uh, thank you for the donations that we get. We're 100% unpaid volunteer staff. So every donation goes to keeping our website running and everything associated with running a global nonprofit organization like ours and every little bit helps. So thank you for that as well. And as I've already said, thanks for watching till the end. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.